Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? I did the cultivating mission in our last episode, right at the end of the last episode. I got paid for that one. We now have $27,750, which, i got to be honest, isn't too bad. Not too shabby. Let me just start this one up, um, and I will fold it up, put that one away, I put the uh, fold in the, the spout, that is. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this back. We're going to return it. I don't want to keep this one here any longer. It's going to cost us a fortune to keep it here. Um, we will have to do... We'll do wood chips in that another time, I think. We're going to... Um, it's, it's just going to be too expensive to keep it here. Because that's like three grand a day, isn't it? Um, so let's hitch that one on. Let me just double check how much that one is. You go into our garage and our least items there. That one there. Uh, it doesn't actually say there. Go look in the forestry equipment. Grass, so we go... Oh, $640 per day. Ooh. You know, I'm thinking that maybe we could keep it. No, no, we won't. We want to keep We want to keep all of our expenses to an absolute minimum. And I kind of want to... Um, I'm, I'm not planning on doing lots of wood chips on this map. Um, I've done quite a few wood chips in the time lapse, and I'll be doing more wood chipping in the time lapse. So I'll sort of, I'm not going to sort of keep repeating myself in all the different episodes. So, <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, this is a little bit slow, this one. Oh, that is fantastic. I did, I knew that there was some sort of, oh, it's, it's, it's like a full American flag. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely brilliant. I'm not from the US, so um, it's not... Uh, I wonder if I can see it. You can't really see it very well from here, can you? I, want, I wanted to do it without um, the, the bits on screen. What are they called? Yeah, you can't see it from there either. Let's zoom out a little bit. But there, there is your American flag. That is absolutely brilliant. I love the way that they've done that with the, the flowers and the grasses. Superb. Right. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So we'll get this back to the um to the shop. So that that, that must mean that that's actually ready to harvest then. So we've got our beans that are ready to harvest. We're going to hire a tractor today. We're going to to lease a tractor. Sorry, I should say lease because that's what people have asked me to do. Um. We are going to lease the Valtra T series. We're going to get the cow edition because that's the one that I've um I'm able to get. It would help if I looked where I was going. Whoa, that is quite fast coming down that hill. Hopefully, there's no traffic down here to run into. Right. And now we're really, really painfully slow going back up here. Um, and then I can get onto... I can put that one onto the two trailers that we've got. And I can start taking some of the crops over to the train station. We'll tip them there and then hopefully we can put them into the train. And we can take them around and we can sell them at the, um, the train sell point. And I'm hoping that will get us some more money so that we can then hire the combine as well. So what we'll end up with is the decent tractor and a combine on our hire list, which means, which is another reason that I want to return this one. I don't want to be spending money on this wood chipper as well as this other stuff as well. It's, it's all, you know, too many items and it's going to cost us too much. We're not going to be able to afford to keep it all running. So, and also... Um, we've, we're going to get the combine and we're going to keep it because we're going to do some fields as crops but mostly I said at the moment we want to be doing forestry and silage. Now we've done some wood chipping if I do more forestry I'm not going to be using this wood chipper if I do, um, I'll do I'll do logs that's what I think I'll do, I'll do some logs rather than um, wood chips and we will eventually plant some poplars so that we can do the wood chips like that using the forager. This is very, very light on the steering while I'm using this. And then, um, right, we're just going to look both ways to make sure that it's safe here. And we're not actually going to stop properly because um, otherwise we'll never get going again. Now then, we are rapidly... I didn't actually ask you my question, did I? This is so slow. So painfully slow. 
Yeah, so my question for this week, and I apologise for not asking you already, um, the Pottinger Euroboss or the Mengel Garant, they are both the same price. This one has a larger capacity, but this one has usable blades. That means that we will have to buy this pallet of blades and replace them as they get broken. So it's an added expense to sort of compensate for the increased capacity of the machine. It's your vote, it's your game. Head to the comment section down below and let me know which one you think I should get. Now, let's just come in here and... Oop, I just jackknifed myself there, trying to avoid... I really wish the pedestrians would stop at the pavement if they see your massive great big machine driving over. So what I was going to do is I'm going to put this weight down here. Let me zoom in a little bit so that we can see what we're doing. I'll lower that one down there. And I'm going to leave that one there for the Valtra T-Series Cow Edition. And then slowly, slowly make my way over here. Slowly does it. There, right. And switch that one off. Run around here and we will return these two. So return that one. Okay. And then you've got to come away from it and you've got to go back to it to be able to do it. Return that one. Okay. Right. Those two are both returned. Then we come back over to the shop. And I know you can just press P, but I prefer to do it uh, like this. It's just, you know, usually prefer to do it like this. I don't always do it like this. Nothing is set in stone, ladies and gentlemen. We can be very flexible. Now, our stayer that we've got does have the front loader attachment already, so I'm not going to worry about getting a front loader attachment on this one. Um, we have standard wheels. We can have wheel weights. We can have narrow tyres. We'll just go for standard wheels. I don't want wheel weights because we're not going to be using the front loader, and that's when you would normally have the wheel weights. I, um, I don't think that we have a need for them. So $20,900 to lease this one. Yes. Your selection is being leased. Okay. And now we need a further... What do we need? We need about $10,000 to be able to get the combine that we want. That's going to be the next thing. So there we are. The cow edition. <laughs> that thing's brilliant. Brilliant. I like that. So the big thing about this is it has the rear wheel drive. The Valtra is the first ever tractor to be factory fitted with a rear wheel drive other tractors do have it but they are later options that are added in the Valtra is the very first tractor manufacturer to fit this as standard on some of their tractors uh what do you want map size exit oh left control b there we go up round and now we are driving the rear of the tractor let's t take a look inside this is what you all wanted to see i know that this is why you wanted me to get it look at that absolutely brilliant <laughs> oh i am loving this so he does and he does have his full top speed when he's in reverse oh that is superb so we want to put that <laughs> it's very weird when you look at it like this because now I'm driving backwards, I've got to be turning the opposite direction. Yeah, it does. It, it turns in the opposite direction. The steering goes the opposite way. Um, obviously, because it's the, it is facing the opposite way. So it's very, very weird driving. I mean, when you're going this way, it's fine. You, you know, my steer. I'm turning my steering wheel the way that I should be. It's brilliant. We're driving this one backwards when we go home. Right, everything's okay that way. Uh, let's turn our beacons on. And away we are. <laughs> I love this. I really do love... Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is superb. Yeah, I know we're going the long way. That's all right. <laughs> it's a bit difficult to drive this sideways on, but oh, I love this. Oops. Oh, no, no. I'm driving. I'm drifting. I'm drifting. <laughs> oh, I, I've got to get me one of these. When I become a millionaire, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to get me one of these. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I should have done this ages ago. 
Right, so we are driving our Valtra T-Series Cow Edition backwards to the farm. How much time could we spend driving? I wonder if we should do all of our deliveries backwards. Just because we can. I know that I've got the front weight on the front of the tractor at the moment. Um, right, let's indicate. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Oh, great. So the indicators are the wrong way around. I was indicating... So I've got to use my indicators backwards to be able to do this. I'm not sure if it's actually road legal to do this. That's something that's worth considering. Are you actually allowed to do this along the road? I realise it's designed for in the field. Are you allowed to do this along the road? Anybody that does actually know this, could you please get in touch and let us know? Because... That would be fantastic. Head into the comment section. If you... Oh, no, wrong, wrong, wrong one. If you know the answer to this, are we actually allowed to do this along the road or not? That is something I would love to find out. Now then, let's go around this way. I suppose, really, we ought to have the bigger trailer on the front. Uh, I'm not going to worry about swapping them over just now. So let's put that on there. And... Back we go. <laughs> oh, this... This is brilliant. Oh, I love it. Right, what was the crops that we wanted to sell? We wanted to take some sunflowers and we've got uh, OSR has got the uh, great demand running on it at the moment. We've still got that little bit down there that we need to pick up at some point. That is on our to-do list. Right, let's check the prices. Now then, OSR at the Maplefield Mill. Uh, barley is now got the best price there at the mill sunflowers have got the best price there at the mill and corn has got the best price at the mill so everything is at the mill apart from wheat and soybeans so we want to sell the rest so i can do two and then we'll come back and we get the other two so we don't want wheat we want barley so let's put that one in the front one there we go and then the next one is this silo is empty canola We'll put that one in there. Only five ton. It's not a very full trailer. Right. And we want to go to where the train is. So we'll just spin round like this. And up and over. I can't get over this tractor going backwards all this way. I suppose really we shouldn't be using the weight to do the, to do the pulling. But it's... I don't think you've got a normal, regular hitch on there. I think it's just a three-point linkage, so this would be the only way that we could do this. <laughs> and then we got our American flag up over here as well. This is excellent. This <laughs> and look at the way he's facing. Ooh, I'm, I'm trying to get you so that you can all have a good look at it and see it as well. <laughs> oh, I love this. Right, we'll bring that one round there. And, right, okay, now we need to pay attention to what we're doing. We're going on to the road. Um, although we're only just crossing the road, so we don't need to worry about our beacon, I don't think. We'll come over here. And up here. So we'll tip this out, and then we need to find out if we can move the train. If we can... Actually, we're going to have to go and get the train. And then we need to see if we can put two different crops into the thingy at once or will it only take one at a time now which way is this trailer set to tip that's what we need to find out so well that is i want it to tip on the right hand side so you've got to press u to change the side of the trailer uh unload tip side back rain door left right and then if i go to the next one i'll do that the same so they're both tipping on the right hand side let's do that and then should be able to tip. There we go. That's tipping out there, just perfect. And then we'll tip the canola. Perfect. Right, so now we need to go and get the train. I'm going to have to go and walk to get that because we were playing around with the train, weren't we? And which side is it? Oh, it's back over here. Um, yeah, so it's the second train that we want. And that one's not here. That one's all the way over there. I'm going to have to go and find it. All right, I'm just bringing the train in. It takes a lot to slow these trains down. You've got to sort of start slowing down quite a long way ahead. 
Now it says on the side of that thing that it's got one for wheat and then one at the back, all the way back here. Let me move that map and you can see at least you've got, well, you've got a picture of a sugar beet there. So I'm assuming that you can't take them all at once, but we'll see. Right, stop. There. And right, so we've got canola there that we can load with and we've got barley there that we can load with. So let's load barley in there to start with and we'll see if it just does the first half or not. It looks like it just does the first half. So we'll go forward a little bit, nice and steady, and see if it will allow us to put something extra in there. Right. I'm pressing R, and I'm not getting any option to fill. So I'm assuming that we can't put another crop in there. Right. Now, this one I can put a crop in. I'm pressing backwards. Ah, it's because it's... Yeah. Because I had that one open, it wasn't letting me uh, select it. Back up a bit. Back up a bit. And stop. It's so difficult to slow this thing down and stop it. Right, so there's the barley. There's the canola. We can put that in there. So that one there, it looks like you've got... It, it looks like it's just one carriage rather than two separate ones. And finally, let's go forward a bit more and we'll see if we can tip anything in here or not. I don't think we will be able to. Uh... Farm silo. Oh, maybe we can. Right, let's turn that train off. And we will go and get our tractor. And we'll go and get some more crops. We can bring two more lots down here. But I think we can only carry three lots then. Um, we want to... I think we want to get the corn. Right. Still going to do this backward. I will go to sensible, normal driving forwards soon. So we've got those two sunflowers and corn sunflowers will give us the best price all at once and then we could do the corn last i think right <laughs> i am never going to get bored of this i really am not i will i will drive more sensibly um in the future but for now just just indulge me a bit will you i'm going to do this episode all backwards in our backwards tractor just because we can no other reason just because we can. Now then. Oh, no, no, no. I need to I need to indicate the other side, don't I? I forgot about that. Right. Up the hill. <laughs> oh. This is the problem. I'm trying to sort of let you get good views of this so that you can sort of see what he's doing. Um, but at the same time, I'm not going backwards. It is essentially going forwards. Brilliant. Okay. Right, let's go and fill up the next two trailers and then we can decide what we're going to do. Right, we've got the next two trailerfuls of corn. I'm going fairly fast here now. I want to try and get things moving a bit because we've been... We've had plenty of time to look and laugh at the backwards tractor. <laughs> I've, I've, I'm still... This, this is... It's, oops. I went a little bit too fast there. I'll tell you what. This is actually really great fun driving this thing. The handling on it is slightly different, especially with the, the sort of the, the extra swing on the trailers. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend that you try this at least once, just because of the different way that it manoeuvres. It's, it's, it's not hugely different, it's, but it's enough that you notice a difference. Um, anyway, let's get, let's get this up in here, and we'll unload these, and then we'll see what we can put into the train. We're going to put corn last. We'll go for the others first, and then we'll do the corn last, I think. Right, so yeah, we're going to do corn last, so we can try the sunflowers in here. Yes, it's allowing us to put the sunflowers in, even though it's marked sugar beet. So that front carriage, it would appear that, oh, it is the same. If you look there, you can see that the wheat has just, the barley has just come through. So you can carry three separate crops in the train, and each of those, that's 5%. Five ton is 5%, so it looks like you can carry 100 tons or 100,000 litres in each train carriage which is actually for when it comes to like selling stuff that's actually really really good because the price changes after a sale and it not after um yeah it's, it's after a sale and not after what do you call um after the hour now what's this here can you can you sell stuff here oh you can no you can store it that's that's more storage isn't it so you can store it at the farm silos and then you can store it there as well uh, that's not actually a sell point though, is it? No, if we have a look at the map there, it's not a sell point. 
but this is a sell point right here and I'm doing 40 miles an hour I've now I've, I've stopped and my foot was on the brake as soon as I said 40 miles an hour my foot was on the brake and this is how long it takes to slow down right it really does take a long time to slow down so I've, it's gone all the way back to the second carriage there before it stopped completely that's how long it takes to slow this thing down right let's stop there stop 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 right now I don't know how it goes about doing the the emptying I think what it does it's supposed to open up underneath so let's just have a look here we'll go at this angle here and we can see it so let's just take a look at our price what's in the front that's the barley so that's six hundred and nine dollars and we'll see how it affects these other prices as well when we sell these so we got six hundred we got these three in here at the moment and then that one is waiting back at the train station. We can sell that as well. $609. So let me sell that. Ah, uh, look. See, the wheel is coming up there. Although it's so quick to drop it in that you didn't really notice anything at all. You'd, you'd, you'd want a full carriage to be able to see that properly. So then we have the wheat. That's the next one. That should just come out of it. Not the wheat. That's, um... What have we got in there? I think we've got sunflowers in that one. Four tons of sunflowers. So let's just see what the prices are now. That's gone down a tiny fraction and those have gone up. Obviously, we don't have the tonnage here to make a vast difference to any of it. So let's just take a look at what this one does. Open. It's, it's so quick. Because we've got nothing in here, it's so quick it doesn't really do anything. Right, there's 6,000 there, harvest income. Excellent. We've got another four tons of sunflowers in here now. Um sell that that's another five thousand so those that one there six hundred and seventeen dollars i don't think that's gone up very much so that's our next thing to do now is i will drive the train back and i'll get the corn and i'll bring that over and sell it i'm going to sell that while we're at it and then we should be in a position to get our combine i hope just pulling away from the station now i have 7.7 .7 tons of corn have a look in the cab in here. You've got the backward seat over there. they got the same control panel over there that we've got over this side. So you can drive this train in either direction. And if you have a look at it, it's fairly even when you look at either side of it. Like that. But anyway, um, we're going to stop accelerate. Well, we're actually going to put the brake on as soon as we get to that bridge. And we'll see if we can stop in time. Right. Brake is on. I'm braking hard. I'm using my foot pedal, and that's about as good as um, pressing backwards on the keyboard. And we're still braking, still braking, braking hard. It's going to go flying past. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. Master train driving, that was. Master train driving. Right, let's just zoom in a little bit and we'll have a look at this. This one here, that wheel, I think, opens up. And then it, it drops the, the crop in. I don't know if we'll be able to see anything very much. No. We don't see any animation at all. I, I just don't think there's enough in there to be able to make any difference. So that's another $4,767. Which... So now we've got $26,000 in the bank. Which means that we can hire our combine. Now do I want to hire the small combine or do I want to get something slightly bigger? I don't think I can afford anything slightly bigger, to be honest. I will, um, I'm going to go and have a look at the combines. We'll take the train back and then I'll have a quick look at the combines. And if there's nothing there that I think is really going to make a huge difference to the time for the harvest, we'll get the cheapest one that we can and we'll keep that one on higher for a little while. Um, and then in the next episode, we'll be able to actually do some combining. And we were supposed to be doing this yesterday. And here is our combine at last. Um, yes. I realise that we have the Sampo Rosenlu, and I realise that this was the starting machine in FS15, and I realise that many, many people have a deep-seated hatred of this machine because it was the one you were stuck with at the start of FS15, and it just, yeah, wasn't, it, it yeah, it, it wasn't fun to drive. It was, um, it was painful, it was slow, um, it was not ideal however if i was to get the um the new holland so it's it'll give it gives me i think the new holland is an extra meter on the header um slightly bigger tank but the problem with it is 
it's an extra five thousand dollars to initially lease it at the moment we've got eleven thousand dollars and i figure that eleven thousand dollars is pretty good because that means that we can lease the other stuff because we need to do silage soon as soon as we've done this harvest we got silage to think about um and we'll be planting the field back i should have stopped then i should have stopped so that that car could go i am i am sorry i broke the traffic laws i hold my hand up and you're ooh, ooh, ooh. some of you may notice on the time lapse i have started i didn't to start with um but i have now started following the um the speed limits in town and i will try and do it here as well it's a 25 mile an hour speed limit in town so i will try to stick to the t uh, to the speed limits Oop, that's my timer to say that uh, time is up and a great demand at maplefield mill for corn how much is it going to be worth now let's just take a quick look 675 what did we get oh we had like 600 dollars for it i think not a huge difference, especially as we only had six ton, uh, seven ton. Yeah, it's, it's not going to make a vast amount of difference to us. Anyway, we are going to take this combine back. Tomorrow we are harvesting soybeans, and I hope to sell all the soybeans at once. If the Maplefield Mill price of soybeans goes up a bit, um, I'm hoping we can sell them there, because we could sell the whole lot all at once. We've got seven ton in our silo, and then whatever we get off of this field. This field is not maximum yield, it's one below maximum. Someone did suggest that I could fertilise it now, um, and at the moment it should still give me maximum yield. I'm not doing that because it shouldn't do that. Um, I don't believe that is an intended feature of the game, to be able to fertilise when it's ready to harvest. Um, it certainly wouldn't be something you could do in real life, so I am choosing not to do that. If we haven't got our maximum yield before the harvest is ready, uh, then too bad. We'll just have to miss out on it that time round. Um, I, ju I just think that would be a slightly more realistic way of doing it. I just don't like the idea of spreading fertilizer onto something we're about to harvest and it magically uh, conjuring up extra yield for us. It, ju it just feels wrong somehow. So I won't be doing that, but thank you very much for the suggestion. Um, I wasn't actually aware that you could do that. and But uh, yeah, apparently we can. So um, my question for this week is which uh, of these which forage wagon would you like me to get hang on there we go loading wagons so which forage wagon would you like me to get the pottinger euro boss which is the standard small one with 21 ton capacity or do you want me to get the mengel garant which is a modded one from mod hub for it's got a 25 ton capacity it's exactly the same price however if we get that one we do have to supply it with blades occasionally when the blades are broken we've got to change the blades with these fresh ones and those are four thousand dollars a pallet so there's a drawback to having the extra capacity on the um on the loading wagon we'll be harvesting this tomorrow that'll probably be most of the harvest it is going to take a while i realize that this combine it is going to take a while to do it and i apologize for those people that absolutely loathe and detest this combine um we won't be doing lots of harvests with this one but we will just for now we'll do this field and then i'm not sure what i'm going to plant in this field after this um it'll be another it'll be another arable crop and i might actually that one over there i might do that as an arable crop as well because we've got we're doing silage this time and we'll do silage with the grass in there the great american flag and we'll try and do some of that extra grass there in those meadows as well but anyway if you enjoyed this episode please head down below and give me a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar, goodbye, and see you later.